Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to number two video today. I'm sorry for my squeaky chair. But that farm over there, it did not work with wheat. So, as you see right here on the side of the meat farm, there is a wheat farm right here. And I did not place the uh, button. So let me go ahead and place the button. And what this does is it sends a red so a redstone signal all the way to those dispensers all the way in the back back there behind this wheat and it pushes well it sends out water all the way throughout this wheat and it pushes it into either this water or into these hoppers which then the hoppers I did not set up to go in the chest I am smart I just place them in the ground I remember all right let me do this then place and then place all right there we go so now that they go in we can go ahead and press this button here and it should send a signal all the way all the way down and then it collects all of it into the hoppers which works perfectly except for that one little strand of hair right there and then all the seeds are placed in there well all of it is going to go in the hopper once it is done so you really just have to wait and you can grab some seeds while you're waiting and go ahead and run back here start placing them before um well while they're being processed into the chests basically so yeah it's really simple to build and i guess we can just get started right into it so all you want to do is you want to grab well, all you want to grab is dirt to start out with you want to do an 8 by 8 square so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and then go across 8 so 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and then you just want to fill it in basically yep I'm messing up with dirt okay yep easiest thing in the world Okay. There you go, you have your eight. Now what you want to do is do a seven by eight square. So you want to go out eight still, and all you gotta do is go back seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then just fill that in like you did the bottom part. Now you can go as high as you want with it really, just make sure you subtract off a level each time you go up. So like if you want to go up another level, it'd be 6x8, another level 5x8, and then so on and so on. So then what you want to do is you want to grab whatever block that you want to use, and for this time I'm going to use my birch and my spruce. Um, now I did use uh, some cobblestone over there, so I'm going to grab cobblestone as well. You want to grab your bucket of water. And then what you want to do is you want to place a block on this corner like I did over there. What you want to do is go ahead and place like this. And then you want to go right here, place a thing like that. And then you want to do the exact same thing. Just go up to like this on the side. Like that. And then you want to come right here and place those like that. And then you want to have a little backstopper, so place that there. And then place water all along here. And right there as well. Boom. Bring that up a level. And then you can go ahead and cover your birch or whatever you whatever block you're using in like that. Okay. So once you're done with this side, you want to come over here to this side and do the exact same thing as well. So boom. Like that, and then you want to build a pole here. And then one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And then one. And then one back here as well. Okay. So. How do I do this? That's right, okay. So I was. Yeah, I don't know how to place water, I guess. Okay. No! Place. Okay. And then go up. Out there should be good so that you have a two block hole that you can fill them in with that makes sense I doubt it but whatever so like that 
And then you want to place your water on this side as well. This one, I, hold on, we'll have to put this stuff in first so we know how high this needs to be. So now what you want to do is you want to come back here and do a three by, well, not three by three, but you want to go three back. Like that. And then you want to grab your dispensers. Bloop. And then place them on the first cobblestone. Oh, not facing up. Like that. Perfect. Now that you have that done, you want to come right here again. You want to... If you're doing like the same thing I'm doing, so place a pole in the water. And then you want to come down here and mine it. Place another water bucket back. And then you want to play crouch. Place one there. Crouch, place one there. And then do the exact same thing on this side. Boom. Place water back. Boom, boom. Then you can go ahead and fill in the top right here with your birch, if that's what you're using. Or whatever block you're using, go ahead and place that in. Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to go ahead and come to the front real quick. You want to mine out a 3x3 three three hole. Well, I mean, yeah, a 3x2, three yeah, 3x2, three I guess you can call it like that. And then you want to come out 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. I need to mine out that block. Place a birch there. Okay, like so then you, what you want to do is you want to grab two signs, place them one right there, one right there. You can put a message on that if you want, whatever. You want to place a water bucket in the corner, a water bucket in that corner, and then you want to go up one, two, even with those side poles right there. You can grab any colored glass that you want. If you have normal glass, that is probably fine. I'm going to use red glass like I used over there. Place a piece of red glass there on each side. Make these poles go up the exact same height as the last ones. This needs to be mined out. This block there, like that. Place a block there like that. Place a block there like that, and then come down here. Place glass like that. So I guess you, if you want to, you can see inside. And what you want to do is, since you cannot put two chests in front of each other, I'll show you real quick. You grab a trap chest as well. So chest, you cannot place a chest like that in front of it. Nope. And then you, so you, you're gonna place a trap chest in front of it as well. So then you wanna come on the inside. You want to put whatever up inside. You wanna go ahead, grab your hoppers. Crouch, place a hopper into those chests so that whenever the stuff is pushed down, you push it down inside. Then what you wanna do is you can go ahead and do your redstone stuff. So grab repeaters and a redstone torch and a button as well. So I'm gonna grab my button. Where was my button? Button. Perfect. So then you can go ahead, place your button in the corner like that, as like I did. Go ahead and make a redstone trail going back here to the back. Go ahead and place a repeater once you get up on top of this block here. I believe the redstone signal should continue on to that repeater. Yes, it does. Okay, perfect. And it ends literally at the repeater. So good. So then you want to go ahead and place that along here now what I'm going to do is grab one more block and you, it doesn't matter what block you use put a redstone torch there put an, the other block there then you want to come out like that all the way along place your repeaters right behind the uh, things they will shoot out the water once you put it in I should put the water in first before I did that okay let me do that real quick so, trash that, mine the repeaters. And then what you want to do is grab your water buckets and place them inside of the dispensers so that the dispensers will shoot up all the water first. Oop, oh, no, no, we only need one. One in each. Boom. 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 And there you go. So now that you have the water buckets in, now what you're gonna do is go ahead and grab your redstone repeaters. Place them back here. 
Now this is going to shoot out water at first and it will go all the way to the end. To stop the water from doing that, all you got to do is come back here and place, press the button and it will shut off the water. Now what you want to do is grab your hoe. And then you want to mine out all of the, uh, this, the dirt. Well, not mine it out. You want to just till it so it's all till it out so you can place your wheat or potatoes or carrots, whatever you are, or bedroot, whatever you are using for, uh, this, um, this farm. Or actually you can use a combination of all of them. I just thought of that. You can place, if you do... Like, if you keep stacking your farms up and up and up, you can go ahead and actually basically make every single um, thing. So you can do potatoes, then carrots, then wheat, and then bedroot, and then, yeah. Actually, that'd be, that's a pretty smart idea, actually. You just wouldn't have a lot of one of them. Now what you want to do is go ahead and place in your wheat. So we're gonna go. Oh, not wheat. I'm a retard. <laughs> your wheat seeds. <laughs> God. So go ahead and place in your wheat seeds. Like that. Okay. First layer done. And now we're working on the second layer. So what I'm going to do is so that it speeds up the process of uh, them growing. I'm going to add bone meal to them so that they grow faster. So I, you don't, you guys don't have to wait and just watch while they grow. But it does work. Like it did work over here. I did not place them back. I did. I should have probably placed them back so you see, so you would have seen. So now you have all your actual uh, weed and stuff and seeds and stuff in there. So as you can see, it does grow. So I'm not lying. So what we're going to do, grab some bone meal. And we're just going to go in a line with it. Oh, I'm surprised it didn't go flat. So just do this. All the way down the line. Go back and forth. Until they're all green. Until they're all grown up. Grown up. Okay. Grown up. These should be grown up. So go ahead and go on to the next side. Now, if I sound dead, I am sorry. It is 4 o'clock in the morning and I have school in literally 3 hours. So I do need to get these two videos rendered. I mean, edited, uploaded, and everything before 3 hours. Well, scheduled and stuff as well. So that's going to take forever to upload and stuff in 3 hours. Because... Oh, it's just going to take forever. You don't need to hear about it, but uh, I just feel like telling you guys. <laughs> but tomorrow, I will ha I, I should have a basketball video for you guys. Um, I will try... Well, it is going to be like a trampoline basketball video. I've, I moved my uh, basketball court that I had out front into the backyard. I put it above the uh, net so that whenever uh, me and Adam come up whenever Adam comes over uh, that we can have a dunk competition which should be fun but and then we can play a game of 21 something like that but I mean <laughs> this it's not time we're, we're making week but I need to talk about something anyway so what you want to do you go ahead and make this a little more nicer so you can grab let's say let's go ahead and use some dark oak fences you can go ahead and place those along the top Oh, I thought I mined out one. Just kind of make it look a little nicer, you know? Boom. You don't have to do this. I'm doing it just to make it look a little more nicer. Now, I did add a little bone meal on the sides. That's probably fine. So, like that, you can add any design to it that you want. And all you got to do is come right here, press the button, and it will all mow out everything which shouldn't take very long only a couple seconds to uh, push everything down into the bottom 
like that and then you can come back here press the button and it's all done the water will get sucked back up into the buckets then it will be like that now all you gotta do is grab your seeds while it is uh, going into the chest place them back come back in a little while and it will be ready now to add a little lighting so that no mobs come around just go ahead and place torches on every little um, thing that you thing that you want and then go ahead place them in the middle as well the middle blocks of the birch so right there right there right there boom boom and boom perfect so that now that you have a little light so if we go into let's say nighttime it is bright enough that no mobs will spawn around but let's also place some around here so that no mobs will spawn in the front as well so perfect just like that and then you have your very own extremely fast wheat farm perfect so with that being said I hope you guys did enjoy this video it was very fun to make I love making stuff for you guys because well teaching you guys if you don't know how to make something to, for you guys to learn how to make it so in the next video uh, which will be next Tuesday um, for tutorial Tuesday I will upload a mob crusher for you guys so that you can use bone wool for this little thing over here so that you will have unlimited bone meal and stuff for you as well but anyway guys I hope you did enjoy this video if you did please leave a like um, if you need like comment what you want me to make next after I make the mob crusher and I will see you guys all tomorrow so tired now. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Now I gotta go in.